Hello and a very warm welcome to Card for the Day by Healing Hand Services and my name is Julie Shan. Today is Wednesday the 22nd of December 2021, <clears throat> excuse me, and the deck I've been drawn to use is the Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. So as I'm sitting here connecting to Mother Earth and Father Spirit and calling in our angels, archangels, spirits and guides, our ancestors and loved ones, and we're asking especially the fairies to drop, drop by with us today. And as we close our eyes and take a slow breath in, just to center ourselves and to get ourselves aligned. We invite our guides in and we thank them for being with us as they always have been and always will be. And it's like feeling a beautiful warm hug around us. And thank you for the beautiful fairies who have joined us today. So I'm shuffling and connecting, connecting and asking them what knowledge, wisdom, insight and information they would like to share with us today. So connecting, connecting, connecting. And we have this temptation. All right. This is the season where we're going to be tempted with lots of little goodies, tempted to buy, eat, overeat, tempted to have all those, one extra chocolate, one extra mince pie. But we're also tempted to buy so many things. Oh, I need to buy this for this person, buy that, and I need to spend this, I need to spend that. We've got temptation all around us. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty? This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, what, whatever is this, guys. The temptation to overspend, the temptation to overindulge, the temptation, what is it? It's okay to have a little bit of here and a little bit there, but when the temptation is overriding and going good, because you're trying to impress people, or people aren't listening to your no. Or why is it you're denying yourself and then you feel tempted and then feel guilty? Temptation. Let us see what Karen Kay's interpretation of temptation is. But it's okay to have the odd little sweet or two and been going, oh, I'm tempted to have that. But it's when you overindulge and that is where we've got to be careful. The fairy of temptation reminds us that we all have desires this is the part of the human condition and it's totally fine. Desires may be things that make us happy and feel good or be activities that potentially harm us, such as smoking, drinking or substance abuse. Alternatively, there are temptations to be made holier than thou or the most spiritual, showing us that temptations can manifest in many ways. Junk food is something many people are tempted by. This is mainly due to the way it's advertised, but also when we're craving certain nutrients and vitamins, in which case we tend to get a quick fix by eating things that are very often sugary. We can learn to overcome the negative aspect of temptation with the help of the fairies. Go outside into nature, dig a small hole and whisper or shout out loud anything you wish to remove from your life these can be temptations that do not or no longer serve you to your higher spiritual and physical good. And now fill in the hole with the soil you dug out. The fairies can help you to transmute your misdirected energy into healthy, harmonious and positive energy. So you feel rebalanced and realigned. The more balanced you are, the less likely you are to succumb to, to temptation. The fairy of temptation is not a judge of temptation. She's merely showing you ways in which you can regain control over the aspect of your life. She can make us feel empowered and able to say no to the things that we are. No, that's not good for us. With empowerment comes confidence and with confidence comes the ability to make positive choices in our life. So there's no judgment whatsoever if you do overindulge. There is no judgment, whatever. But if you think, you know what? I, I feel I need to be tempted to buy this. I'm tempted to buy that. But then you know in your heart, you know I really can't afford it. She helps you to say, no, to be honest, I can't afford this. Or no, these foods are not really good for me. There is no judgment. She just helps you to regain control. And when she says, when you can control, you have the confidence temptation and like I said it's okay and there's no judgment be kind and gentle with yourself she is just there to help you to learn to say no 
I hope you have enjoyed this reading today. If you have, don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to have your own reading, don't forget to contact me. How to contact me are in the comments below. Have an amazing day. Take care. Namaste. Bye.